Welcome back to my bathroom. Today is hair color day. My hair has faded a tremendous amount with this color. And before I used uh, Arctic Fox Purple AF and loved it, but it has faded. So I'm gonna try something different this time and I wanna go a tad darker. Um, so I'm gonna try this Lunar Tide hair dye and it is uh, vegan and cruelty free. So it's um, supposed to be a little conditioning for our hair. This is Magic Salem. And I've already put it in my bowl and it's pretty dark. So I'm hoping it's not too dark. But I'm wearing my favorite shirt and we are gonna just go ahead and get started. Um, I am not a professional hairstylist. I am just a DIYer. DIYer, DIYer. And um, I do my hair all the time. And um, I'm all about trying to take care of it because I do it so much. Um, normally, if I'm going to color my hair, I would highlight my roots a little bit, but since this is so dark, I have opted not to. And like I said, I am not a professional by any means. And um, I don't recommend you do this at home, but since I'm doing it, I'm gonna share it with y'all. So I'm um, just using the, the little brush here that I bought and just putting it. Now I'm not going all the way down yet. I'm just mainly covering up my roots and I'll get the ends and just when I get finished. Um, I have discovered that a lot of times I don't need to put any color um, on. And I'm looking in my mirror because I'm doing this and y'all know I can't see, but I have discovered that I don't really need to put a lot on the ends because some magic way, it just sort of gets down there and blends. And I probably shouldn't be getting it this close to my scalp, but it is what it is. So, and I just part my hair a little bit with the end of the brush. And like I said, I color my hair all the time. And I'm gonna talk to y'all while I do this and just talk. You can fast forward if you want. But I do color my hair a lot. I've been every color. I've been blonde, I've been red, I have been um, blue, I've been a violet purple, which I didn't like that violet at all. Um, I have been black, brown, but the purple I actually think has been my favorite. I've gotten so many compliments on it, even when I wear it super duper straight and football style. <laughs> Football style is just a football shaped head. Trying to let my hair grow out from a um, super duper, super, super short pixie. You subscribe to the channel. You'll see that soon because I'm gonna post a video about how I've gone from a super short pixie to this because it has grown a tremendous amount in the last five months. I'm super excited about that. So I'm just keeping going here. And like I said, you can fast forward it if you'd like. But I do like, um, when I used this the first time, oh God, y'all, it's so dark. When I used it the first time, I was covering up a super uh, light purple. I think it, I can't remember the name of it. It was from um, Kiss, Kiss Tation or something like that. And it was an orchard. It was an orchard color, I think that's what it was called. And I just kind of kept it and just kind of brushed the ends like that to sort of give it like an ombre balage appearance. And I really, really liked the look of that because it looks like, it looked as though it was two dimensional, three dimensional or whatever that term is that hairstyles, stylists used. And it was super pretty. It wasn't all one color. It was, it was really pretty and I was quite proud of myself. Um, and I think I'm gonna do that a little bit with this. I'm actually doing pretty good. 
I had read somewhere that this was super runny. This is not runny at all. This is like cake batter. <laughs> pretty, well, it's not that thick, but it's pretty thick in comparison to what I thought. I was expecting it to be running down my face and all that. And um, because I tend to get super messy and have purple dye everywhere. My poor husband, he's like, you're gonna get that up. And I'll tell you, if you get the purple dye or any any dye anywhere, let me tell you what you can do. Get you a magic eraser and put you some cleaner on it and that magic eraser will get that color right up. Magic erasers are fantastic for anything like that. So this is great. I'm loving this. I have a call it's 7 30 and it's 20 to 4 20 to 5 20 to 5 sorry my time so i should be good and done this is supposed to process for about 35 minutes and i'm gonna do that um look at that purple on the ends i might to cover that too but um you can see right here right there where um it has super duper faded. I try when I um, wash it and everything to be very careful. I use good products when I wash, um, so that way it keeps its shade and its color and everything. I need to write down when I do this, so I'll know I'm terrible about that. But anyway, I'm just gonna go in here with some of this on the brush and just sort of streak it in there a little bit to give it sort of that ombre look. Like I said, I ain't no stylist. Um, I just do what makes me happy. I just do what makes me happy. This is my first hair video, y'all, so be kind. Um, I, but I do color my hair all the time, but this is the first time I've ever filmed it. So, any tips, tricks? Normally, I'm super blonde. And, um, trying to let my hair grow, as I said earlier. And since I'm trying to let it grow, uh oh, since I'm trying to let it grow, I need to do something fun or it's to the, sh to the, to my stylist. Her name is Tanya and Tanya, I told Tanya that I wanted to let it grow and she's like, okay, great. So if, if it gets to the point where it's driving me crazy, I'm gonna go see Tanya and I'm gonna cut it. But um, that's why I'm doing something fun to kind of keep me from going to get it cut. So I'm gonna turn you off. I'm gonna go to the back because I need my mirror and I'll be back. My dog's in there. Okay, I am back looking all crazy, kind of crazy. Um, great. I just got it out. And I have just a little bit left that I will um, toss out. And I have it all over my hands. And I have it on my face. So let me show y'all what I'm going to do to get it off. I am going, I'm sorry I had to step to the side. I wasn't ready. I just grabbed some toilet paper and some coconut oil. I'm just going to put that on, uh -oh, on there. Oops, where did it go? I can't find it. I can't see where the poo right now. Um, and I am just going to get that off my face right there with the coconut oil. And it will help nourish my skin anyway. So you can see that's coming right off. They say to put Vaseline. Well, I didn't have any Vaseline. So I just take the coconut oil and rub it around and you can see it comes right off. Uh, if you don't have coconut oil, you could actually probably use, I got it all over my ear too, y'all, look at there. Um, you could probably use any oil that you have. <laughs> Lord, help me. So, I got it on my finger. Jeez Louise, I made a mess. If I didn't get it on my nails, I'm okay. But I am going to cover this up with my fabulous shower cap slash Walmart bag. 
and it says to leave it on for 35 minutes so the the plastic bag acts as a dryer hold on a minute hold on a minute it acts as a dryer so i'm just gonna <laughs> clip that y'all when i was in my 20s i would have never come on video like this i'd have never posted anything without makeup on or my hair fixed how times have changed but um i'm gonna let this sit for 35 minutes and i'm gonna take a shower wash it out i'm hoping it's not too dark uh, i wanted it dark but i'm hoping it's not too too dark and we will return after i wash it and style it see y'all soon okay so i'm finished and you can see the purple that i did not color which i really like it um because it gives it a little bit of dimension um i like the color it's darker than i thought it was gonna be but i'm hoping that as it washes it'll lighten up but um a couple things about this color different from arctic fox it did stain my hands so arctic fox uh never did that that i remember um arctic fox smelled a lot better than this um but i do like it um my hair does not feel dry or anything like that i did put a little bit of um volumizer spray in it but overall let's see i don't even know what the back looks like i like it uh, i will probably use it again but as you can see it's coming off in my hand so that is definitely a bad thing for me so anyway um i hope you like this leave any comments in the comments below or if you have a product that you use that will give you this sort of deep um, purple, let me know and I'll see y'all next time.